Let's do this. This um. This, they always uh, let the dogs out. Faux verite <laughs> stuff because this is huge. I was listening yesterday to uh, to Limba and Hannity, and this is the story, ladies and gentlemen. The story is is that Project Faux Veritas has uncovered something that just about anybody who did a little bit of reading or listening to experts knew about social media. And that is, you are the product. They suck up all your data and then they sell it. And the way they police their product are through algorithms that look for certain indicators that may suggest that you are somewhat problematic for them. And in the event that they're going to get sued, they will have some type of defense in which to, or lose advertising revenue that they're going to have defense. And apparently project Faux Veritas and James O'Keefe have blown the lid off of this. Now, the interesting thing is the way that they're using it. They're using these rather banal revelations as some way of saying that um, uh, conservatives have been targeted. And let me tell you something. If you're someone, and I'm not going to name any names, but if you're someone, let's just say, I'm going to do, your name's Dave, right? Whatever. Just some random name like Dave. If you have a YouTube channel, you're Dave or John Smith, or Dave, I don't know, Rogers, or Rubman, Rubman or whatever. And you're noticing that a lot of your content seems to be getting flagged by an algorithm. It's not because this algorithm has its own mind. It, it's that the algorithm is set up to have no subjectivity. And all it is, is that there are certain relationships or keywords or metadata that is flagging it for you. So, for instance, let's say so many of your viewers also enjoy, let's say, racist stuff. Then the algorithm is going to know this and it's going to assume that you're catering to those people. And so certain words that may not trigger um, a, a review on monetization for, let's say, a video from us where our audience are not a bunch of racists and we say the words like hood, let's say, people are going to, it's not going to flag. But if you've got a lot of racists, hood may mean something very different to them. Hood, and it hood, might hood. Flag. So uh, just, just FYI. But meanwhile, here's Project Verita, uh, Faux Veritas, and uh, on their blockbuster Twitter find. Now, Jack Dorsey, CEO of Twitter, this message is for you. Every Monday morning, you get your coffee at Blue Bottle on Market Street in San Francisco. A few times, you've interacted with some artists, homeless people, businessmen, who may or may not have been some of our undercover journalists. You may recall a few of these interactions. Remember what you said? We do. I was watching from the yoga studio across the courtyard a few of these times. You may want to think about which of your employees also interacted with some of these same people and what they Such said. Such a creep. Again, Jack, take the weekend to think about it. American Pravda. Now, the best part about that video, released on a Sunday. Yes, he didn't. Well, he wanted a shortened weekend. Take actually the, just the, take the afternoon to, because I know that you're subscribed to Pardon He does. I think in every one of the Bourne movies, there's that part where Matt Damon's like, actually, I was watching this the whole time. Wee! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wee! Well, that's what he wants, but his videos have a lot of, like, Dr. Dr. Evil effect yes. to them. There's a lot of, like, $100,000 to it. Mm, you were getting your coffee, and I was at a yoga studio. And all I can think is, like, every Play single- Play it! Every single woman in the United States should just get a restraining order. No a preemptive kidding. One. That's all I could think every time I see. You were getting your coffee and I was at a yoga studio. Why was I at a yoga studio? I don't know. Don't ask me questions. I was just there. I was watching you from the yoga studio. I was pretending to do a downward dog. In my hipster glasses disguise. 
you got a cappuccino and didn't get sugar in it. That's actually funny. You got funny. a cappuccino. <laughs> and then that woman uh, next to me in the yoga studio was wearing hot pants. And it was so and hot. it was crazy. And I actually got distracted. And then I kept looking at you. And then I kept and looking then- at her and a reflection. And, you know, if I ever watched I, by James O'Keefe in those stupid glasses, I'd be like, oh, hey, James, you prick. <laughs> like, like what, what kind of disguise is that? I'd be like, oh, you're the asshole with the fake videos that had a hit in 2010. Well, I love the fact that Jack Dorsey would be like, oh, my God, is that James O'Keefe? Oh, no, he's wearing glasses. James O'Keefe doesn't have glasses. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, all right. So, um, but it doesn't end there, folks. Wait till you see what Jack Dorsey was supposed to be super afraid of. Apparently, Twitter has algorithms and they have access to all the information that you put on Twitter, even if it's DM'd. Do you understand this? This is, this is incredible. When you go on Twitter and you sign in and you sign the terms that say, we own all of your information and all of your work product here is actually ours, you, you're actually giving them access to all of those things. Pardon me one moment, please. <laughs> so everything you're saying is true in my server. Oh, shit. Can I delete it? You can. It's all real my server. So all your sex messages and your like dick pics are on my server now. No shit. Yeah. Pause it. Like, did you realize this, folks? That when you send dick pics on a DM on Twitter, it actually goes through the Twitter servers? Do you realize this? I mean, like, I had no idea. I would have had I zero idea like... until a young Indian gentleman <laughs> That's uh, right. was exposed, <laughs> drunkenly explaining it yes. to a scam fake journalist outfit. All your illegitimate, illegitimate wives and like all the girls you've been f***ing around with, you're on my server now. Oh my god. I'm going to your wife and so- you and your divorce. Yeah, I mean, does it? I mean, is, is anybody even like remotely surprised by this? Well, I have some speculation about this. I think that there might be, and I emphasize might, an unusual degree of highly, of very low intelligent, high probability uh, aspiring pedophiles in the Project Veritas audience. <laughs> so <laughs> this are, might be very relevant information blown out to of them. The, right, yeah. bl- oh my God, Blood I had no it. idea. I, I thought that the public stuff was what was available, <laughs> but now you're telling me that goddamn a poo can see inside my DMs? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. So what we can do on our side is actually very terrifying. Why? That can be terrifying. We have full access to every single person's account, every single direct message, deleted direct messages, deleted tweets. I can tell you exactly who logged in from where, what user using a password, when they changed their password. Why do you keep it? Pause it, pause it. So he's just said, like, we can see everything you do, which is... Like, that's almost like material that you would try and say to someone if you're impressing them on a date. Like, it is so obvious that, oh, we have a server. We have a system. Maybe it's obvious to me just because, like, look, hey, folks, guess what? When you log into our system and you become a member, we can see stuff like your address because you put it in the system. You become a member of the majority of the port. We have, <laughs> have, we have access to your entire home mailing address system, okay? All right, continue. Because <laughs> this guy's, and, and it's like this guy's trying to impress the, like, the, like, we can see all of it. And people are just like, what? Well, this is actually this an is unintentional expose of just the sort of sad, bleak reality of Silicon Valley Absol- and the people who work there. And, and, and look- an invasion and a, and a collective invasion of all of our privacies by pernicious corporations that we accept every single day. Exactly. Like, the more, I mean, we've had multiple guests on this program who have said this basically over and over again. When you're using a free service, you're the product. You are the product. Why do you keep it? I guess I don't get that. I'm not, I'm not in the field. Um, I don't get why you, why you keep it. Like, who cares? If we ever get subpoenaed. Oh. Mostly law enforcement and also helps us to detect the pattern of history. That's, that's all right, pause happens. it. So he's, why do you keep all this data about the, the passwords and the stuff? Oh, you know, for law enforcement, if we get subpoenaed. If there's any pedophiles. Goddamn Project Veritas video. I had no idea. <laughs> I thought the DM was a goddamn private section. 
It says direct message. Oh, that's why. I didn't said know it was a whole message. goddamn Chris yeah, Hansen algorithm machine. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining all my dates. <laughs> James O'Keefe, you moved too slow. It's very, very dangerous. Um, also, very, very creepy big brotherish. Well, that's true. Yeah, it is. That's it's very point. creepy, big bro brotherish. And you know who else would have said that? Uh, a reporter for Mashable or uh, or somebody who's written 5,000 think pieces for Wired. Not a creep. S set up shop at a yoga studio across the street. <laughs> I'm you know, telling you your coffee order. Hold on. Here we I've set up. I've set up. I've set up a observatory post from a yoga studio and I can see the newsstand across the street they're selling copies of Wired magazine that told this very story 50 times this year <laughs> of how much data is being sucked up by social media but now I'm going to edge my way over to the locker rooms and just see if I can look in as they open the door in the yoga studio. <laughs> but also keep an eye on those Wired magazines from across the street. Guys, you go get the Twitter people drunk and get them to confirm the obvious that everybody knows. I'm going to stay in the yoga studio and just they sort of check out what's going on. There's an on. episode of Computer Today that I'm eyeing. <laughs> Breaking Twitter minds your likes for ads. Yeah, whoa. It's so creepy. Uh, someone dropped the towel over there. I'm just going to go over there and smell that. <laughs> <laughs> that should be, that should be on his, that should oh, be his God. official bio. If, Somebody know, honestly, dropped the towel over there. I'm just going to go over there and smell it. I, I you know, uh, I'm not going to say what the amount is, but there's a dollar amount. And I think it's probably a lot less than people would assume where if someone said, quit your show, I want you to make full time uh, James O'Keefe parody videos, and I'm going to pay you, that I would do that for the rest of my life. Like, do you remember what you said? And, and my, I feel we like my, do. my happiness level. <laughs> you know, like each thing. Like, here I am in the locker room of the Flow Yoga Studio masturbating <laughs> while I look at girls changing the people. <laughs> we also had a camera like you at the same time. That'd be great. It's like each thing reveals, like, here I am adjacent <laughs> to a girl that claims she never met me, but I consider her to be my ex-girlfriend's apartment. I'm tracking all of her movements and yours, Jack. Mm. Does she remember what she said? Do you remember what you said? Because I do. Do you remember how many downward dogs were done yesterday at this, Hugo, uh, this, this, this yoga studio? I do. Here I am stealing some eucalyptus <laughs> essential oil. Oil to masturbate. Well, I watched the but it has to be locker. him like exposing. We set up a camera there as well. It has to be him just exposing already known like corporate liberties taken on people. <laughs> it, it should be. It should be. It should be a mashup of him inadvertently revealing that he's engaging like multiple acts of like stalking and invasions of privacy, and then being like, Facebook sells ads based off of your likes. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <sighs> Instagram feeds advertisements to you based off of who you follow. We're blowing up the story today. Here's also some footage of the woman's locker room. I was trapped in an air vent staring down from above. <laughs> uh, where is that? That's, what, what was that clip of somebody who was talking from inside the, uh, from, a, from a locker that was Ben Shapiro, but I feel like you can so put awesome. every single. Wait, did no. someone finally shove him in a locker? No, that was no. a brilliant piece of work because the guy just was remixing. Do you have it still? Oh, this is brilliant. We who should did this? this. Do I we know it was, it was uh, Rob uh, Weissman, I guess. I don't know who he is. This is. I feel like this is the story of every single. Uh, but uh, the story. No, James O'Keefe was definitely. But I mean, this is perfect for Shapiro. And the idea that transgender surgery accomplishes anything for people who are quote unquote transgender is nonsense. The, the suicide rates are precisely the same before and after the surgery, and they are both in excess of 40%, which is unbelievably high. The idea that society is responsible for transgender suicide is absolute garbage. It is not true. It's just an image, folks, of a bank of lockers. 
when they found that it's a still image of black people. They're not questioning about being transgender. They have exactly the same rate <laughs> of suicidality. Oh, God. That's, 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 that's much better. better. Oh, God. Oh, this, should be, God. this should be the only way that he should be heard. The only way. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.